I have terrible news. I just got caught hacking and I snitched. I told him I know who is Mr. Hacker Loy. He's the guy on YouTube who has been showing us all these wonderful tutorials about ethical hacking, penetration testing. And I snitched on him. I gotta quickly delete away all these secrets and files that I have so that when Mr. Hacker Loy comes after us, he's not able to know exactly of our identities, okay? Let's do that. We got a secretive file right here, okay? Of exactly the conversation that I have had. And I wanna quickly delete this away. Let's go ahead and do that. Delete. All right, let's go ahead and empty a recycle bean. Click yes on that, okay? Done. Okay, great. We have now deleted the files. Mr. Hackerlock can no longer come after us. I wouldn't be too sure about that. And in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about how to recover all these deleted files from the file system. This is crazily easy to do. And it's amazing how quickly you can recover all these files from the target computer. Wait, what? You don't believe me? You don't believe Mr. Hacker Loy? Have you not subscribed to his channel yet so that you don't get hacked? So right in front of us, we're on Kyle Linux and Kyle Linux is going to be our ethical hacking computer. So this is the place for us to be able to inject into the target computer system and then after which we do a lot of post incident, meaning that we are doing forensics, we're trying to recover all these deleted files from the target computer. This sounds really exciting. Now, before we go any further, remember kids, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who is Mr. Hacker Loy. Now, jumping back to the tutorial here, let's go ahead and enter sudo msf console. So we are starting a meta exploit. So this is the tool for us to use to remotely control the target device and to do a lot of all these different post-incident forensics that we can run. So we can look up for all of the file systems. We can look up for all the files within the different drives. So the first thing we can do is to look up for a certain exploits we can use. So in this case, I can enter search. See, I'm looking up for returner. And then after which I can say use number one. So in this case, we're using exploit window SMB MS17 010 PSEXEC. Okay, so once we have that, enter show options. And what we want to do now is go ahead and set our host 192.168.0.186. So this is the target IP address of the computer. So this computer could be targeted as a result of being accessible either from the same network or it could be a target server on the internet hosted somewhere else. And you'll be able to access upon it, run your payload against the target service and be able to gain control of the system because of a exposed vulnerability. Now, once we have that, you can see the following by entering show options. So we have already set up the R host over here, 192.168.0.186. So go ahead and enter exploit, hit enter on that. And now you can see the following, right? Selecting PowerShell target and done. We're in, we are literally inside a computer system and we have full remote control of the entire computer. All right, so here we have interpreter session one open. All right, I can enter say shell. And once we're in shell, I can see all this different information right here. And I can enter say DIR. So I can see all of the files, folders within the target drive. Next up, what I can do is I want to enumerate all the drives that are available within this target computer. So what I can do now is go ahead and enter background. So we're putting the existing session into the background. And what we can do now is to select some of these post incident modules so that we can run against the target system. So here you can enter say search, you can enter post. And once you do that, it will be showing you all these different modules that you can run against the target site. So again, I can enter say search post, I can search for windows. And likewise here, we are looking at say post, windows, manage, gather, reconnaissance, and all these different available modules, hundreds of those available modules for us to continue the privilege escalation, to be able to target other devices within the network and so on and so forth. So what we can do now is to go ahead and use the following, enter, say use, all right, post windows, followed by gather, followed by forensics. And of course I can do a double tab and see all the modules available within here. So here we can enter say enum drive. So this is to enumerate all the drives available and then enter show options, set session, followed by the existing session right now, session one. Okay, so go ahead and enter run. And we can see right here, we have all the physical drives and we have all these different logical drives that are available. Now I jump back over into session by entering sessions, dash I for interact one, hit enter on that. So here we're on interpreter, enter shell. And we, what we can do now is go ahead and enter say E drive and go ahead and enter say DIR followed by D slash A to look at all these possible hidden files and directories and so on. Don't try to hide anything from Hacker Loy.
So what we can do now is to use another module to help us run the file recovery. So go ahead and enter use post windows scatter followed by forensics. And now we'll be doing recovery files. Hit enter on that, enter show options. All right, and we'll do set the drive as E for us. All right, so it's already set. And of course we have the session. All right, so set session as the existing session that we have. So we can set session as one and go ahead and enter run. So this will help us look up for all the deleted files in the data run. So we can see right here, we got a couple of files being identified. So this are TXT files, all right? And we want to take note of the ID here because this will allow us to set it under the files option so that we can begin downloading all these files into our local directory. So what I can do now is go ahead and enter set files followed by the two IDs. So double click on this copy selection, paste it right here, do a comma. And once again, another ID, copy that, paste it, hit enter on that now and go ahead and enter run. And this will begin downloading all these files right into our local Kali Linux directory. So you can see right here is being downloaded into root MSS4, all right, followed by loot and the following file name. So opening up a new terminal and going over into the root directory under MSF4 loot, what I can do is enter ls now and we can see the two files right here. And I can do a cat followed by 2022. And now in this case, we're target 158. Hit enter on that. Hacker Loy is my favorite hacker. You know what? I'm not going to hack on you anymore because of how sweet you are. So once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in this tutorial. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking and penetration testing tutorials.